Today I built a cat crate, you know, to go along with the cat ramp. This is the Old Guy Network. Yep. Welcome back into my shop here in the trailer hood, and right now I'm going to make a crate. It's a special crate. It's a crate for a cat. It's a cat crate. Insert your own jokes. You can call it whatever you want, but I call it a cat crate, okay? Anyway, what I've done is I've cut up one of these. I got this from the pallet, and I made these little slats here, and they're about a quarter of an inch thick. And uh, with these, I'm going to cut them to 15 inches and put them all together and then make a floor and we'll have a simple crate. It's uh, it's pretty easy. I could have shown you me doing this but you know you know how to you know how to make these right? You don't? All right I'll show you one more time. There it's that simple. Okay, I've got my fence set at 15 inches. I can show you that, I guess. Right there, 15 inches. <laughs> and now, oh, that one's a little short. cut these up. I can do them all in one, one shot here. Maybe. Let's see. Let's see if I'm clever enough to do this. If not, I just wasted some wood. Let's do it again. Now this is what I had left over from that board and I'm going to cut this in 9 inch lengths. These are going to be the corners. Those are going to be the four corners. Normally, I would use three-quarter inch uh, brad nails to put these all together, but I don't have any. All I have, the smallest ones I have, are one inch. So instead of butting these up together like I normally do and putting a nail in here, we're going to actually put the nails in the corners. Put off my table saw except for the wood and the glue of course and I put down this little piece of uh, cement board. You've probably seen me do this before. I like using the cement board because it makes a nice flat surface and it has this checkered pattern in it that uh, allows me to make sure that everything is square. So I suggest to use one of these if you can. If not, use something else. I don't care. This is how I do it. So we're going to start by putting a little tiny bit of glue. Well, we're going to start by breaking the glue bottle. And now we're going to put a little tiny bit of glue right here. Oh, I thought this was thought out. <laughs> there we go. A little more glue than I wanted. And we'll put a little bit there. Okay. Now I can line this up as close as I can. And the first thing I'm going to do is just put one in. That way if it's off by just a little bit, well, we'll be correct. And it's a cat crate. It's not rocket science. So 
let's do another one. Okay, I'm looking at this now and I know that I've already made a mistake. And my mistake is, this should not be nine inches. Uh, I'm gonna make it a little smaller. All right, as you can see, I've cut these down and that's a lot more manageable. That's gonna look pretty good. I think that's gonna be a good height for the kitty cat. What do you think? So I'm just gonna go ahead and do this and uh, then we'll be done with this part. Then we gotta make a floor. But uh, let's go ahead and do this now. I'm just going to check this with a speed square. And again, I don't expect it to be perfect. I mean, it's for a cat. That looks good. So, three more like this, and then we can put them together. And just like that, I've got them all together. Looks pretty good. I would call that pretty square. Well, we can tuck that in a little bit there. We can move that around when we put the floor on. Now, without a planer, I can't make these perfectly flat, but again, it's a cat crate. So we'll do the best we can. Now, I've edged all of these, so they're going to, uh, they should glue up pretty well. Okay, those all dried. I cut them to size and put them on here. And look, we have a little cat crate. And I also, just to make everything straight, I put these little rails on there uh, just for the bottom, little skids on the bottom. And uh, I think that's going to be nice. Hope the little girl or guy or whatever the hell that cat is, hope, uh, hope he or she likes it. Just a little cat crate. Yeah, why the hell not? And there you have it. Just a simple project. A cat crate. Got to have it if you have a cat ramp, right? The only problem is, uh, as you saw that last picture, that was my cat. Uh, as soon as I brought the crate in the house, she got in it and she wouldn't get out just long enough for me to put a towel in there for her, and that's that's hers now so i'm gonna have to build another one of these for my friend but uh you know we still got a few more days until christmas and uh hopefully his cat won't watch this video because you know i don't want to screw you know, the cat's christmas up you know i don't want to spoil it for him 
So that's going to do it for me, the old guy. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you got anything out of it at all, even if it made you mad, hey, go ahead, hit share, like, subscribe, all that good YouTube stuff, and please leave a comment. I, I don't have a lot to do except for this stuff here, and I, and I like to read the comments. It gives me something to do while I'm in the bathroom. Yeah, that's enough said about that. That's going to do it for me, the OG. Until next time, now I'm out.